Hey guys, it's Robin, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I have got a pretty exciting haul. It's a fairly large haul of, the, it's my first one of the spring summer 2023 catalog. So I have got a whole bunch of stuff here. I did a party closeout. So I have got laundry stuff, bars, all kinds of other odds and ends. And I also do have first sniff reviews of the um, Epcot collection in here as well. So stay tuned for that. I'm surrounded by animals as I'm filming this. So there's Piper playing at my feet and then there's Ben here behind me. It's, you're gonna maybe hear some animals, but it's, we're fine. We're good. To start with, I just grabbed a pack of catalog sacks. These I just use for dropping off catalogs or goodie bags for local customers. So there's those, nothing exciting there. Then we do have something a bit more exciting. So we have laundry, a laundry bundle in Fiji flour. So we have the laundry liquid, the big washer whiff. Now I'm currently working my way through a smaller tub with the old style packaging of Fiji flower and it is such a good washer whiff. Um, the scent on this is like a like fruity floral um, or like a fresh floral. It's really, really pretty and I don't typically go for super heavy florals. This is not one. This is very, very fresh. Whoop, Piper. <laughs> This is very nice. I love the washer whiffs especially, but I'm excited to have more of the laundry liquid because I remember this being good as well. The only thing I'm really sad about is that I couldn't order a scent soft in this scent because scent soft is discontinued now. What I'm gonna do is just use pink cotton from the stash that I purchased before scent soft was discontinued and I'll, I'll do that. Also in the laundry love bundle, you get two packs of dryer discs. Um, these are also, I just got both in Fiji flower. Dryer discs are just to add a bit of extra scent in the dryer. They don't reduce static, the scent soft does, but these do not. These are just for fragrance. Um, so I typically, these tend to get lost in my laundry piles. I'll like put my laundry pile somewhere and then get to it days later to put away. And then these are just kind of lost in the shuffle, but they all kind of migrate back to the laundry room when, when clothes are put away. So <laughs> there are the dryer discs. I also grabbed just a three pack of scent circles to use up some host credit. I usually get six packs, but this is just like a little bit of post credit I had to use. So I got one in Mountain Sunset, which is probably my favorite of the new release scents um, for spring and summer. It's a really pretty like bluebell, coconut, and like like woody air, woods air or something like that. Um, nice kind of soft, pretty scent. Star Apple and Freesia, I thought this would be really fun for when it's warmer outside. This one is just kind of a nice fruity, summery scent. Enjoy that one. And Apple Teeny Splash, which I actually warmed recently. I love this one. This was a new scent last summer and it is like green apple and simple syrup and it is so good and like really good performer as well in wax. So I'm hoping the scent circle is as well. Then I also grabbed a couple light bulbs and for a very particular reason. So I got a 15 watt green and a 15 watt blue um, to see what I like best. And I got that for the Cotton Meadow Mini Warmer. Now this is for the Easter collection. Um, it is still in stock as I'm filming this. Oh no, I broke the box. That's odd, I've never had that happen. But yeah, I broke off the tab there. It's okay, the box still works. So I don't actually have an extension cord here in front of me right now. So what I'll do is I'll post a picture of this to Instagram. And what I'll do also is I'll try it with both the colored bulbs I have and post pictures of all of them so you can scroll through and see what the colors look like. Um, but yeah. In the meantime, here's what it looks like unlit. Oh my god. Oh wow. The attention to detail on this is really, really nice. This is like a bisque finish. And the detail is like really intricate all the way around. So you have holes. It's a ceramic. And you have the little branches on the bottom, bunny rabbits and the eggs, the big egg on top, and then flowers kind of all the way around. And then on the back, it's just more flowers and leaves. This is really pretty. And I'm excited to see how this looks with the clear bulb and with different colored bulbs as well. This is gonna go in our guest bathroom, like my daughter's bathroom, just as a little bit of Easter decor. Now we are on to wax. So I did get another package of the Easter bars. Um, I really like the Easter bars. I quite enjoyed all three. So I did want to get three more. So first we have Violet Spun Sugar and I do have warm reviews of these back on my channel. This one is kind of like a sweet floral with a bit of a perfumey element. 
Um, this one always turns very close to starburst sky for me on about day two, but it goes forever. We had this in my daughter's room recently and it went for like three or four days. It was just kind of a like musky perfume towards the last couple days. But when you first put this in, it is very pretty like violet, like sugared, like sugared violet and like perfuminess. It's very pretty. Then we have pink berry fluff. This one I really like as well. This one is like pink berry marshmallow and I can't remember what else, but it's kind of a like powdery, pretty type scent. Um, when it warms, the marshmallow comes out way more than you smell on cold. It's very pretty. It is very light. This is by far the lightest of the three in my experience. Um, you do need to double the wax, I've found, to get decent performance. So in a room or a warmer where I usually use two cubes, I use four cubes instead and I do, it does okay then. But I did try this in the bedroom with just two cubes and could really not smell it much at all. Um, once you make it four cubes, it does quite a bit better. So this is one of the ones where if you enjoy the scent, it is worth doubling your wax because you do get more scent payoff when you do that. Next we have Mandarin Zest. This one is the one I was kind of the least excited about, but I knew I would still enjoy it. This one is just a really pretty like fresh, like citrus scent. It's very lemony, kind of grapefruity to my nose. Like I get like lemon grapefruit, maybe a bit of orange, but it's very zesty, bright, kind of fresh citrus. Um, like that one, it does have a bit of a perfuminess to it on warm that I don't smell as much on cold. This one was about a medium strength at peak in my open layout, but it did reasonably well. I think I got like 24 hours out of this one too, which for a citrus isn't too bad. So I really like this one. This one might be one I stock up on. If there are any scents in the Easter Trio that you want to try, but you don't want to purchase all three, what you can do is set up like a one-time club subscription, like a monthly club, like one time, and just order like six Pinkberry Fluffs or three of these and none of these. Like you can you can do what you want that way in Scentsy Club by setting up like a one-time club. Or of course you can just add these individually as you want to to your existing club and keep them there for the long run. Whatever works for you is fine. Um, but yeah, I decided to get all three this time and I did end up adding a pink berry fluff to my club. I am gonna stock up I think on Mandarin Zest though as well. And I think I'm probably good for Violet Sponge Sugar after this. Next up here, I have 12 bars of pink rhubarb sugar. These are not mine. I think one of them is mine, but oh, this one is so good. I have a friend who absolutely loves this scent. This was a new scent from last spring and summer. It is like rhubarb and like, is there raspberry in here? Like it's maybe raspberry and like sugar. It is so good. It is tart and sweet and juicy and delicious. Um, it's excellent. And this one is just kind of spring and summer in a bar. You could use it year round. And so my friend ordered 12 bars of this when it became available again. So those are going to be going off to him. And then I'm going to keep my bar right here. Then we have blue agave and melon. I am so glad to have my nose back into this one. Um, it has been a long time since I warmed this. When I first joined Scentsy a couple summers ago, this was in the summer collection, in the summer trio, or quad or whatever it was. I didn't really understand that that was only available for like a month or two. So I didn't do anything with it, even though I really liked it. And I thought it would be back in the next summer and then I quickly learned that it wouldn't be. Um, so I'm really glad it made its way back to the catalog. I really like this one. Oh my gosh. Yes, this one. <sighs> That's a good one. This one is like a little bit fresh, but mostly it's like very sweet, almost blue raspberry tones. Although don't think like candy, slurpy, icy snow cone, blue raspberry. This is much tartar, but it's so good. That's good. I still say blue raspberry. You do get melon. What kind of melon? Probably honeydew. And it's just, there's almost a green note or some kind of botanical note here, but it's, don't think normal scentsy green note. It's not that, this is something different. There's just a real tartness here and it's so fresh and so sweet and so good. If you haven't tried blue agave and melon, you really, really should. I think it's a one that most people would like and I highly recommend that. Next, I grabbed one more bar of Mountain Sunset. I'm just about done the one I have and I wanted another one. 
This one is beautiful. This is bluebell, coconut, and like warm woods. This is just toasty, cozy, really pretty like spring, summer bedroom scent. I think you could do this all year round in the bedroom especially, but it's beautiful. I also grabbed another Tropic Nectar. This is one from the new bars that I really enjoyed. I think I want to warm this as it gets warmer. This one has like coconut milk, tropical fruits, and agave. This one is really nice too. I distinctly get papaya in here as one of the fruit notes, and I'm not sure what else, but it is tropical. It's not like peach or nectarine and stuff. This is like tropical fruits. The coconut milk is there. It's a very creamy, light coconut. But I get like papaya, maybe some orange. Like if you like Jet Set Go, I think you will like this. They're not the same. This is a bit of a more appealing fruit scent, I think, for most noses. But Jet Set Go was really, really good. And it didn't perform all that well for most people. This one performs much better, in my opinion. And is a decent... If you like that one, I think you'll like Tropic Nectar. Yeah, this one is a good one. I'm excited to have another one of those. Then we have Star Apple and Freesia. This was in the Island Days collection in different packaging last summer, like late summer. And they have put it into the catalog for this spring and they've given it new packaging and it's really pretty. So this one, this is light on cold, but it has been sitting on my front porch and it's been cold outside. So let's see here. Yeah, this one is really good. This one is very light, watery, airy. Um, juicy but in like a watery way. This one is cool. So on those really 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 hot days when you don't want super sweet and heavy or super sweet and fruity or it's like sticky and you just don't want anything too much, this one is a very airy light watery type fruity scent. It is sweet, it is fruity, but it's also light and crisp and airy. Really like this one especially for those hot days. Yeah, that's a really good one. I'm a big fan. And then I grabbed Raspberry Hibiscus Tea. This again was one of the new bars for this season. I really liked it and I grabbed another one. This one's good. Yeah, this one actually reminds me of like a cousin of Pink Rhubarb Sugar. Let's do a sniff test. Here's my bar of Pink Rhubarb Sugar. Here is Raspberry Hibiscus Tea. They're cousins. Like the raspberry note is the same in each. This one is tartar. This one is sweeter. Um, but they both share a raspberry note. Yeah. These are closer than I expected. This one is definitely sweeter, like by far sweeter. Um, but this is a really good performer. Raspberry Hibiscus Tea was a bit of a weaker performer in my open layout. But Pink Rhubarb Sugar does quite nicely in the open layout. So I'm going to try Pink Rhubarb Sugar, or I'm going to try Raspberry Hibiscus Tea in different spaces as well and see how it does. But this is really, really nice. And I think if you like pink rhubarb sugar, this would be worth a try. Um, and yeah, that's a good one. Then we have the Epcot bars. Now I didn't think I was gonna get, no I didn't, okay, yeah. So I don't have the Epcot decorations because I am in Canada. So I have like fairly regular Scentsy labels, they're not Disney branded. Um, if you live in the US, you will get like Epcot Disney branded ones. If you're in Canada, you will get these types of labels. So they're still kind of similar to the Disney ones, but they don't have the Epcot logo um, just because of licensing agreements. So these ones, I was going to just order mint fields because I am very excited about mint fields. I want a summer mint so badly. So I'm really excited for this one. I've not smelled these yet. This is going to be first sniffs. We also have heirloom rose, which is like a rose scent. I tend to be really iffy on rose scent, so I'm actually kind of dubious on whether I'm going to like this one. And Soft Plumeria. This one I'm a little nervous for as well. Plumeria is one of those ones that can be hit or miss for me. More miss than hit, so I'm probably not going to enjoy this one, but we'll see. Um, but again, I had host credits to use up, and I thought I may as well just get the three-pack bundle. So let's start with Soft Plumeria. I'll put the notes below on this because I don't know them off the top of my head. Um, but it is a yellow wax, and I'm expecting it to be like a fairly heady floral, like a summery floral. Yep, it's exactly what I thought it was going to be. Okay, people are going to like this though. Yeah, I can't warm this one. This is going to be a migraine floral for me. This reminds me a lot of Soak and Rays. 
um, of like tiari and coconut. What I get is that very heady white beach floral. Some people are going to smell this as sunscreen, I think. I don't. I smell it as like a very heady white floral. Um, it does have some sweetness to it as well. It's very floral and it's a very specific type of floral. Like if you like those particular floral notes, you're going to love this. If you like Soak and Raise, you need to try this. Um, it's not going to be for me. I don't think I'll even warm this. I just, I can't with these ones. They just, my body doesn't like them. They give me migraines. This will be a no for me. Then we have Heirloom Rose. This one, rose can go a few ways. Sweet Rose, I really, really enjoy. Like Pink Lemon Water from the catalog, I really like. That's like a nice, sweet, kind of subdued rose. I like that. Um, Simply Rose from Scentsy was a bit much for me. <laughs> Not a big fan of that one, but let's smell heirloom rose and see what it's like. Oh, that's, that's, whew. Oh, that is a sharp rose. That is sharp rose, and it is very rose. This is just unapologetically rose. I don't smell anything else in there. Maybe just a slight hint of greens, but not much. That is a pretty sharp rose. Um... I wouldn't say it's a powdery rose. I would say it's a fresh rose, but it's like hit you in the face rose for sure. This is a much, um, much deeper, sharper rose than like pink lemon water. Um, I think you really, really have to like those strong rose scents to enjoy this one. This one might be nice to mix with like really heavy bakery scents to make like a rose tea cake or something like that, that I could see doing with this. This doesn't smell on cold to be quite as strong as Simply Rose. So if you like Simply Rose, but want something just not quite as strong, and maybe with just a bit more of the green note, like just a little bit, like maybe 10% of that green, like stemminess or freshness, um, this might be that. It's not a bad scent. It kind of reminds me of a scent I had in like a body lotion from Body Shop, like 15 years ago, called like Moroccan Rose, I wanna say. This kind of reminds me of like the Moroccan rose scent from like a million years ago at Body Shop. Um, I don't mind that kind of thing in body wash or in body products, but to make my whole house smell like it, this one could be could be a lot. Um, I do think it would be really pretty for bedrooms, maybe a bathroom. If you have, I think the key with this one is going to be windows open. So if you had this in the open layout and had windows open and there's like a spring breeze coming in then I could see that being really, really nice. But I think this is one of those scents that's going to need space to breathe and to, like, spread out. That's what this one's going to be, I think. But I will warm this one. It's actually growing on me the more I smell it. It is quite a... You do need to like rose. You will not like this if you don't like rose. Last but not least, the one I am most excited for, I'm very confident I'm going to really like this one. This one smells like mint leaf, and I'm really hoping for a green summery mint leaf scent here. We have Perfect Peppermint, which is like a nice peppermint scent, but peppermint is a lot different than like green mint leaf. So I'm really hoping this will be a nice summer appropriate mint. It's good. That's green mint. Yeah. This smells like when you go out to your backyard and you pick your mint leaf plants and you have like that mint smell on your fingers of like the green mint leaf. Yeah, it's good. This is going to be gorgeous. This will be fun on its own or for mixing. This would be beautiful on a hot day, I think. This is by far the lightest of the three. I would say it's a light or light medium on cold, whereas Heirloom Rose was approaching strong, but it's like a medium plus. And Soft Plumeria, I would say, is like maybe a 6 out of 10 on cold. This one is more like a 4 or 5. 4. Not 5. But it's very pretty. This one, I'm... It's exactly what I hoped it would be. Very, very pretty. I really, really like this. I can't wait to warm it. And that is what I got in my, like, first haul of spring and summer. I have since placed one or two more orders. Um, and I'll share those as they come in. But that is what I've got. And then in here, you can see like half this box is just bars of pink rhubarb sugar for my friend. So there are those. I would love to hear what you've been warming or what you've tried from the new spring summer catalog and what your thoughts are. 
or if you've tried the new Easter bars and what you think of those. And if you're a consultant, I would love to hear what you think of these three new Epcot bars. Uh, Mint Fields might be a club one for me. We'll see how it does. These two are going to be not repurchases for me, for sure, but I didn't think they would be. Um, I think floral fans are going to be a big fan of those. But I think even if you're not a floral fan, you might want to try getting your hands on mint fields. And again, the same principle applies for these ones as for the Easter ones. If you don't want all three, um, I'll double check. I don't think you can um, purchase them without being in the bundle. You might be able to, but I don't think so. If that's the case, what you can do is um, put them in a club, like a one-time shipping club, and do that. Also in the Epcot line, there is a Sunkissed Citrus Fragrance Flower. That's available as well. They also have um, French Lavender back, just briefly, as um, as part of the Epcot Flower Festival. So if you missed out on French Lavender, um, many of you let me know that they did bring that back. You can purchase it. I believe it's sold out in Canada right now, as of like yesterday. Um, they may restock it. If they don't, you can still add it to your club for now. I'm not sure for how long, but if you missed adding it to your club before the season ended, Throw it in your club now while you still have a chance. I definitely did, so we have that now. Also today I was able to order the Spring and Summer Bricks as well as the Mother's Day Early Access Bundle, so I'm excited to get those and review those for you as well. We will talk to you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.